Senate Republicans trying to paint Secretary of State Antony Blinken in the Hunter Biden investigation as a liar. They claim Blinken lied when asked if he had communicated with Hunter Biden over email or text. They say Blinken said no, and he did. But is that all he said, or is the game afoot? Joining me now, Peter Strzok, the former FBI deputy assistant director who led the investigation on Hillary Clinton's emails, and Democratic strategist James Carville. Uh, Peter Strzok, taking a look at the... Uh, how you doing, Carville? It's good to have you. Uh, Pete, uh, right. taking a look at uh, the transcript, all the articles that I read had Blinken's answer to the question of... Did you have any other means of correspondence with him, dash, dash, emails, texts? They write, no. And he did say no. The problem is, it's not all he said. He said, no, the only other times I would have seen Hunter Biden, I think, were two. And then he goes into a whole description of him spending a lot of time uh, with then um, you know, with Biden and, of course, his family. Do you believe they caught Blinken here? Well, Chris, I think there's a difference between catching somebody in a criminal act and catching them in a politically problematic act. I mean, as I read that transcript, this was a 2020 interview, and they're asking Secretary, current Secretary Blinken about events that occurred in 2015. Now, as you said, he clearly says no. They ask him whether or not he had any conversations. He says, not that I recall. And then they move and they say, how about emails or texts? And he says flat out no. Now. Whether, you know, clearly, and they say they found information off of Hunter Biden's laptop that clearly shows uh, correspondence back and forth between now Secretary Blinken and Hunter Biden. If that's accurate, that's still a long way from being a violation of the law. Secretary Blinken can say, look, I was thinking in my memory, this were, these were events five years ago. I was the deputy under, or the undersecretary of state. I had a lot of things going on. I honestly didn't remember this. For a criminal violation, it would have to be a knowing and willful act. And I think, frankly, that's what we know now. That's a long way away from the facts. But that's very separate from whether or not this is a political problem or not. And, you know, clearly Republicans are going to try and make it into one. They don't hold the majority in the Senate. But I guarantee you, no matter what Grassley or, or Ron Johnson are saying, you have folks like Jody Heiss, Jim Jordan, who are watching from the House side. And they've already indicated they wanted to, you know, impeach Secretary Mayorkas or impeach Attorney General Garland. Having this thrown into their lap with a link to Hunter Biden's laptop, I'm nearly certain they're going to try and pursue that on the political side of things. Well, I don't like two things. One, he should have cleared it up. Uh, and when you let a narrative get developed, especially when it's based on your own testimony, you're asking for trouble. Uh, the, the second thing uh, that his defense is going to be, I said no, and then I explained that the only communications I had with him were related to the meeting I already told you about. That's his potential out, and I do believe the transcript provides cover for that. Now there's a second problem. For this, I come to you, Brother Carville. Um, what business did he have meeting with Hunter Biden? Biden says he wants to run a couple things by him. He switches from personal email to uh, government email. They meet. He says, we only talked about Bo Biden. Why? You know, because Bo Biden had passed. Why would Hunter Biden take a meeting with Antony Blinken to talk about his brother? I, I, honestly, Chris, I have no idea. I, he's the Secretary of State. He's obviously a good friend of the president's and knows him well. The president would appoint him Secretary of State. And I, I would find it unremarkable if at some point that he interacted with uh, President Biden's children. I, 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 that just just strike me as potentially not very nefarious. And it also, sometimes I say, I don't know someone, and someone says, well, here's a picture of you and that guy. Okay, if I don't remember, maybe I do know him. I mean, I, you know, did I send a text to somebody two years ago? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't, it, it could have cleaned it up better. It, it, it probably is not the most elegant thing in the world, but I, I, I'm not sure there's much here. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.